Hi everybody, so I'm back with a much requested video tutorial on Inkscape and um, this time we're going to be talking about how to thicken or, um, well, yeah, I guess just make the lines on your pattern pieces thicker and changing the colors. This one took me a little bit of playing around with Inkscape to figure out how to do it correctly. Um, and so I'm going to show you what worked best for me. So here we're working on a free pattern from Patterns for Pirates, and this is a really great pattern actually. This is their Walk the Plank PJ Bottoms. Um, I'll go ahead and put the link down below as well so that you can use this if you'd like. Um, so what I've already gone ahead and done is um, removed one of the sizes. In this case, it's the extra large. So I'm gonna go ahead and make the original pattern piece invisible by hitting this little eyeball. And here you can see the pattern pieces that I chose to um, transport onto a different layer for the extra large size. Um, if you need to uh, learn how to do this, I do have a video on that and I'll go ahead and link that below as well. Um, and so we're going to go ahead and get started on making these lines more visible um, and I'll show you how to change colors and everything. So the first thing that we want to do is I like to pull down the little um, the little menu um, and that is here under object and then this button here the option fill and stroke so go ahead and click that and then you'll see a new menu option show up here and you can always you know adjust this to your liking um, the fill stroke paint and stroke style is what we're going to be using so I'm going to go ahead and select um, with my node button. We'll go ahead and click that. So now we have um, the majority of the pattern piece selected. This little bit up here is not selected, but we can do that. Actually, let's go ahead and hit shift. If you hold down the shift key and then also select this top one, I believe we can go ahead and just work with both of those. So next I'm going to go ahead and um, go into the stroke paint. So the fill button, this first menu option, this is to change the colors inside of the lines. We don't really want to do that. I'll show you what it looks like. But see, it will fill in the entire thing as a solid object. Um, we don't want, obviously, to do that unless you have a reason to. You know how. Then we'll go to the stroke paint. This is where you get to change the color of your lines. Um, this is a. It can be a little bit confusing because sometimes the pattern pieces are already selected. Um, or a color has already been chosen on the original pattern piece. And so you can play around. All of these buttons will give you different options, different color uh, selections, and they're just different, um, they're different color um, values that you can go ahead and play around with. So let's say we want blue. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit that. Um, obviously you can customize this to your fabric that you are using. If you use, if you want to make one for light and one for dark, or you know whatever the case may be, you can go ahead and select different options here. So that did change both of the selections that we made, which is great. You can go through and just hold down your shift key and just select all the ones that you want to be the same color and the same thickness. Um, but when we go to the next option of actually changing the line thickness. Um, I would do one thing at a time because when I tried to select more than one um, more than one object, my computer or my my version of Inkscape, um, it should be the latest version, but um, for whatever reason, it just caused everything to go into the not responding. Um, and that was really frustrating and a little scary because I'd put a lot of work into figuring out how to do this properly. so, in my experience, doing it one object at a time is what was successful for me. So next thing, I'm going to go ahead and unselect everything after that warning. Um, and then we're going to come up here to the stroke style. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and select one object here. And then here in the width, this is where you get to choose the thickness of your line. Um, you can use the plus and minus numbers here and you can see the line getting thicker and thicker. You can make it as thick or as thin as you want. Um, for me, I've been 
going to about 1.5 and for me that's really um, pretty visible if you need it to be thicker by all means you, you know you can go up as far as you need to 2.5 um, we'll go ahead and leave it there for now and then the other thing that I'll change is this button here the dashes you can click the custom and you can change the broken lines so if you just want a solid line you can go ahead and just do that if you want to have these funny little ant lines you can do that you know all these different options that you have if you're projecting you probably just want a solid line um, and these other ones I haven't really played around with too much uh, this looks like if you want those mitered corners which I don't fully understand and don't really like to use those but um, it looks like you have some different options to play around with um, and so yeah uh, to go ahead and change this one you just select that and bring this up to around 2.5 as well Whoops. And then if you want to leave it in a broken line, you can just so that you know for this pattern piece, um, the original top line here is for the women's rise. And then this additional portion is for the men's rise. So if you wanted to be able to differentiate or if you just want to change the color of that one piece, you can do that too. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make this a solid line for myself. Um, and then we can come back to stroke paint and we'll just make that red. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and select, I'm going to see if I can select both of these little notches and so both small pieces. Um, and we'll make those neon green. And then we'll go ahead and bump these up to 2.5 as well and do a solid line. Okay, cool. Last little notch. We'll do the same, 2.5. And solid line, and we'll also make that a neon green. Awesome! So that is how you can change the sizes of your lines. Uh, I am zoomed out pretty far away, um, so if you wanted to get closer and see what this would look like, you can see that the lines are much better than they initially were. Um, and I'm actually, um, you'll see through the magic of YouTube editing, um, I'm going to show you what this original pattern piece looked like on my projector table, on my cutting table, with the original size, and then I'll go ahead and put this one right next to it. Thank you so much for watching, and um, I will see you next time.